like example number two, a car is initially traveling uh, eastward. So it starts from here, turns north by traveling in a circular path. Okay, so it is a circular path traveling at uniform speed. And then the length of the arch A, B, C here is 235 meter. And the car completes the turn in 36 seconds. So it's saying it's basically the time to complete this one turn here is equal to 36 seconds. Right? Now we have to determine the acceleration when the car is at B located at an angle of 35 degree. Okay? So how do we do that? We know that the centripetal acceleration is equal to V square over R. Okay? However, we do not have the value of V. So what else can we use? We can also use AC equal to R omega square, where omega is equal to 2 pi over T square. Lah. Okay? So the centripetal acceleration becomes 4 pi square R over T square. Okay? So now, uh, do we have the radius? Do we have the radius? Nope, we do not have the radius of this circle. Okay? So how do we find the radius of the circle? Is by using the formula s equal to r theta this one is not in your notes however it is in your week uh the mind map in the planner i forgot to add this one so what what s mean is s is the length of arch depending on the angle lah. so angle theta here is the angle contohnya kalau 35 degree di sini the length of arch is only from point b to point c here Okay, so from point B to C untuk angle 35 degree. R is the radius lah. Okay, so the ang the theta that we will be using is 90 degrees. Sebab we are going to be using 235 meter which is ABC punya length of arch. Okay, so S is the 235 meter. So you should get, the theta should be in radian. Okay, so 90 degree is pi over 2 radian. Okay, right, so R is S over theta. So you should get the radius to be equal to 150 meter. Okay, so from there, what else? We do not have the period. So period is the time taken to complete one cycle or one circular path here. Lah. Okay, so if a quarter of this circle is 36 seconds, one complete cycle to berapa? So, kita just darab dengan empat. Um, okay, why? Sebab kita ada four quadrant. Okay, so the period is four times dengan 36 seconds, which is equal to 144 seconds. Alright? Okay, so just add this. I mean, uh, substitute all the values. Square. You should get the centripetal acceleration to be equal to 0.286 meter per second square. Okay, so the direction is towards the center of the circular path ataupun towards the center of the circle. Lah. Okay. Okay, next question, the car speed. Okay, so the car speed, the linear speed can be calculated using V equal to R omega. Okay, so R is 150, omega is 2 pi T, eh, 2 pi T, blood, that is 2 pi F, 2 pi over T, which is 144. Then you'll get 6.54 meter per second. Right. Okay. Now we have to find the average acceleration during the uh, during the thirty seconds interval. Okay. So uh, if it fits, I'm just gonna stay here. Lah. Okay. So we know that the average acceleration is equal to delta v over delta t. 
Okay, so now we have to find the change in velocity. Okay, so how do we do that? We are going to look at this vector A, velocity A, and velocity at point C. Okay, so let's look at this like this. So this is our velocity A. Velocity A, the <coughs> past velocity C. Okay, ish. Okay, <coughs> so what we are looking for is actually the resultant. Okay, so this resultant is telling us about the delta V. Okay, this telling us about the delta V. So that's why we need this delta V here. Okay, so why is the arrow pointing from here towards this point here? Because we know that it starts from the initial going to the final. Okay, that's why the arrow is pointing macam begini. Okay, <clears throat> right, lepas tu the angle, the angle theta is this one. Okay, right, uh, what else? Why angle there di sini? It's because we are going to use tangent which is opposite adjacent, over adjacent. Okay, so y over x. Macam tu kan, cari direction of vector. Remember that. Okay, so now let's find delta V. Delta V is just finding the resultant, which is VA square plus VC square. So, VA is just equal to VC, which is equal to 6.54 meter per second. Yang kita cari di sini. Okay, so why is it equal? Why does VA equal to VC? Because we know that the velocity for a circular path is constant. How I mean the speed is constant. However, the velocity is not. Why the velocity is not constant is because the direction of this speed keeps on changing. The direction of this velocity is changing. Okay, remember that. Okay, so if you substitute the values, you'll then get 9.25 meter per second as the change in velocity. Okay, delta T pula, dia minta untuk 36 seconds kan? Okay, so uh, dari situ, just substitute lah. 9.25 divided by 36, which you should get 0.257 meter per second. Okay, so that is the average acceleration. Remember, acceleration ada is a vector, so it has direction, which is shift tangent y over x, which is vc over va. Okay, so you'll then get 45 degree as the angle or as the direction of the change in velocity, lah, delta v. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so that is a uh, solution for example number two.